On this day, June 6, 1876, General Ponciano Leiva Madrid, President of Honduras, capitulates in the town of Cedros. President of Honduras capitulates in the town of Cedros in favor of General Jose Maria Medina, therefore it retains the executive power in the months of June to July and August 1876. According to the Convention of Cedars, then the executive is handed over in the possession of Mr. Marcelino Mejia and on June 13 makes a formal delivery to Don Crescencio Gomez Valladares and retires to the city of Comayagua. Jose Maria Medina wanted his friend Manuel Colindres Gradiz to be his successor in the presidency of the Republic at the end of his term. Manuel Colindres Gradiz at that time served as minister of his government, but Crescencio Gomez Valladares returns the presidency to Jose Maria Medina on August 12, 1876. In the course of that month, Jose Maria Medina receives a note from the Salvadoran president, Dr. Rafael Saldivar, to recognize a new government headed by Marco Aurelio Soto. At that time, Jose Maria Medina was in the town of Hualcince. He issued a decree on August 21 of that year, appointing Dr. Marco Aurelio Soto as provisional president of Honduras. Then, General Jose Maria Medina retired to the town of Gracias. The government presided over by Dr. Marco Aurelio Soto was inaugurated in parallel on August 27, 1876, on the island of Amapala. Marco Aurelio Soto had been pressured by Justo Rufino Barrios to return to Honduras after knowing the secession plans of Jose Maria Medina. This was a day in the history of Honduras.